New tonight, parents are concerned about the lighting at schools in Lancaster County. As our South Carolina Bureau Chief Shakira Speaks tells us, they're pushing for something to be done to keep people safe there. As Kelly West Helms was driving down Highway 521 to pick up her son Avery from Indian Land High School, she noticed something. This is so dark. The lights you see from these cars are the only lights on this road. And for Helms, that's a problem. We've got sporting events going on. We have students leaving the school at this time, coming. We have visitors coming. And it's just very hard to see out here. She posted her concerns on Facebook to see if other parents felt the same way. One person says it's not just in front of the high school, but the elementary school as well, saying if they want to install lights, they need to use a portable light tower. For inexperienced student drivers, Helm says it could end badly. If you're not watching where you're going or not paying attention, you could drive right past the school. You can hit the medians out here. She reached out to the Department of Transportation asking if they could install lights on the road, but DOT told her they had no authority over that. We reached out to the city, who directed us to the county, who directed us to Duke Energy. The company told us it didn't cover that area. Helm says something has to be done. What I would like is just some just some lighting at the entrance. The actual sign, Indian Land High School, have some lights pointing toward it. The whole area, the secondary uh, street that comes down, um, it, it, there's just no lighting. Um, and people use their, their high beams and, you know, it's just dangerous. You can go down the wrong way. You can mess your car up, hit the median, that sort of thing. Reporting in Indian Lane, Shakira Speaks, Fox 46.